guys, uh, in this video, let's look at how we can delete uh, rows in Excel in a loop. And when you're doing so, uh, I think the most important thing to note is that you want to start from the end of the range and work your way up as opposed to the traditional loop of uh, you know starting at say row 2 in this case and working your way down to row 10. So okay, let's get to it. Uh, before that, let me just set up the uh, worksheet. So I've got a, a 10 rows in column A, uh, and I've marked those that I want to keep as uh, no, and those that I want to delete with a uh, delete. And the most important thing to note here is that we have a couple of uh, consecutive rows to delete. Yeah, and. Uh, that, that's the scenario that highlights why you would need to work your way up as opposed to down. So, okay, uh, let's get to the uh, VBA portion. So, I'm going to start with, um, well, the uh, traditional for loop and show why it doesn't work. So, let's go there and uh, we'll just make a modification. Uh, simple one to it that will uh, make it work perfectly. So, Let's get our declarations for this dim ws as a worksheet and let's set uh, the ws equals to this workbooks, this workbook dot sheets and uh, sheet one. Okay. And then, so that's the only declaration, and then we're going to do our for loop, so for i equals to 1 to uh, 10. Uh, for this simple example, I'm just going to hard code the ending point as 10. In a more real world scenario, you'd probably have to find the, the last row and then store it as a uh, variable, then include that. Let me close out the for loop i equals to 1 to 10. So if my ws dot cells i and uh, row i column 1 dot value equals to delete, then what do I want to do? I want ws dot rows the i row dot delete. Let me close up the thing. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Um, so we declare our worksheet as this workbook's uh, sheet one, and then we're going to loop from row one to ten. If the cell value is delete, in then we are going to delete the entire row. Okay, so let's run that. So maybe let me just remind you of what the worksheet looks like. Uh, yeah, and so what we want is for rows four and five as well as eight and nine to be deleted. But what's going to happen? Did I click that? Yes, I did. Okay, is that you can see we still have uh, another row here in row four and a row in row seven that. I want it to be deleted, but what's still there? And this is because what happens is when you delete a row, and I'll do this manually now, is you see that the, the row below shifts up. But then your your looping point, it would your loop, the i variable goes on to the next number. And that's why it skips a row when you have two consecutive rows that you want to delete. So let's make a simple modification but to our VBA, but before that, um, let me just copy um, our example column, okay, and uh, go back to the VBA. So what we want to do is, the only thing we need to modify is our for loop, and uh, instead of 1 to 10, let's go 10 to 1, and... Uh, we're going to say stack minus 1, meaning work backwards in um, by 1. Okay? 
So this time, if you run this, you can see that all the rows that we wanted to delete have been deleted successfully. And we're only left with the rows that we want to keep. So, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, uh, or any other problems that you'd like to work through, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.